Hello, good afternoon, and uh, welcome to an update from Three Feet Rule. And in this video, we're going to be looking at where I am with the Hannibal Commission. So I was hoping to have got these finished on Tuesday night, but I was feeling a little bit under the weather and, and didn't quite get as, as far as I wanted. But um, the uh, four regiments of Gauls have now been painted. So I'm now uh, on to some uh, light cavalry, which are on the painting table at the moment. I'm hoping to get them finished uh, tonight so they'll be shown off tomorrow uh, if not uh, Saturday so these have been a joy to paint how Warlord Games has got so much detail into 13 millimeter troops I do not know but they are pretty spectacular I am still hoping that Father Christmas will take pity on me and send me this box set because it is immense there's no two ways about it it's a cracking box set the amount of plastic you get and there are lots of uh, unboxing videos out there, so um, I didn't do one. But the amount of frames you get um, is pretty uh, phenomenal. And uh, the detail is is, is excellent. And um, I think down the road, I think I probably will get this box set. Uh, but uh, for now, I've got to finish my French. So once I've completed these, this, this commission and then the next one, um, I am going to be back on the table with the French. I have dug them out um, in preparation and I've started to... Uh, assemble some um, uh, gun batteries uh, whilst um, I've been um, at a bit of downtime just to just try and uh, have a bit of respite from painting, uh, do a bit of building instead. So let's have a look at these figures and um, see what you think. So as you can see, they're really, really detailed. Um, I did really enjoy doing these. Uh, they did take a time. Um, I hope the customer is pleased with uh, the quality uh, that uh, they can see on the on the on the video. Um, how I've done these is I've pretty much ranked them all up on the table on my desktop, and then I pretty much gone through with uh, a yellow and painted various different shield designs yellow. Uh, I've painted the uh, one of the cloaks yellow, and I've done this pretty much on all of the. Uh, strips of figures once I've done that uh, and I've got some base colors down uh, and I've tried to randomize it as best as I can um, to give that sort of impression of them being a, a ravening horde of Gauls um, that uh, that really didn't like the Romans um, and um, I believe although I do believe there's a set of these uh, as allies to the Romans so I've got a feeling that when I open the or look at the Roman side of this uh, this box set uh, I'm going to be doing some more ghouls. So um, uh, happy days. So I've tried to randomise them as best I can. There's three stands to a, a regiment. And um, I've tried to keep uh, each uh, front uh, strip different. So when they're all ranked up in their uh, regiment, uh, in not in March where they're in attack, um, then uh, you, you sort of the shield designs aren't repeated. Uh, which is uh, something I did aim for. Uh, they are really nice. They are detailed. Um, and I'll bring up some more in a second, um, just so people can see um, that I've not just um, sort of, I've tried to keep the quality of the of each uh, regiment so the um, uh, customer can sort of enjoy either displaying them uh, or taking them to the club or, or playing um, solo battles, whatever they intend to do there's there are lots of figures here um yes yeah, some of the shields are duplicated because i sort of uh but uh on the on the from three feet away which is the name of the channel three feet rule they'll they'll look really good ranked up and um uh they'll be um hopefully uh well received so that's the uh the ghouls um they do look really impressed impressive when you put them all together in one big unit so you can imagine uh, this unit on the tabletop being um, led by a commander which um, I've yet to do yet um, you can see how impressive they're going to be um, and this is bearing in mind quick flyby this is quite close up so when you sort of zoom back to uh, to, to your uh, to looking at the tabletop um, you can imagine yourself as the uh, Carthaginian commander um, sort of ordering the the Gauls around on the battlefield with the 
the elephants and the uh, Spanish and the Libyans and all the cavalry that comes with it. It's just going to be immense and a, and a huge spectacle um, uh, to play with. So that's where we're at. Uh, please feel free to comment. Um, if you want to uh, give me some history, uh, I'm quite happy to uh, to learn about uh, this period of the Punic Wars. So if you do come across this video and you think, well, actually three feet rule, um, you don't know what you're talking about, um, please um, give, give me some direction. And um, uh, that's where we're at. So uh, I will catch you all in the next one. So bye for now.